always trying to make L.A. more like Spain. Very hard. <laughs> very hard. Very hard. But it's done by food. It's done by taking the time to walk places. But you're still inspired to write and to create your art. Yeah. Yeah. I find that that's, that's, that's the gift. That's the, been the most important gift I've been given, you know, is like that. I get to be a musician. I get to, I've, I've been able, I've been given the, the, the privilege of doing this for my work. And, uh, and I, I, I uh, you know, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful that this is what I get to do with my time, you know. And, um, you know, I, the more, the more you do, the more you want to do. It's, and music is a self-generating, it's like an engine of, like, of possibilities and of, 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 you know. I mean, I, have a, I, can, I, can remember, I can remember music. I can remember a few words that I want to remember. I can't remember the, na the names of people I meet or, or sometimes I can't remember the name, uh, you know, like of a book that I loved, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it's, it's interesting what you choose to remember. But I can remember a phrase for years that I want to put into a song. Mm -hmm. If I find the opportunity, I'll find I'll put that in, and and uh, or there's a a phrase that goes through your head, and you know I I record things all the time so that I won't forget them. Mm -hmm. But if I don't go back and listen to it, I really do forget them. And if I go back and listen, I go, oh yeah, because it do goes you, that way. It doesn't go. It's not what I remembered. It's it's the, what I had first was better, and so. Do you ever look back on some of your on the work that? is so enduring today and say, God, where did that come from? How did I do that, you know? Yeah, sometimes I look back on work that I've done and think about the way I lived when I, when I wrote that and how I was, what I was reading or how I was living. Sometimes I think about what I was eating. Like sometimes what? I think, well, I think that like some of, the, some of my favorite songs were written when I was eating brown rice with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of fried egg and a little bit of lemon. What song? Well, Jamaica, say you will, was written when I lived in a tiny apartment that only had, I, I didn't have a refrigerator. There was no refrigerator, so I had to only, I only ate, I only could keep the food like rice, eggs that don't spoil that quickly, you know what I mean? Like, I, you know, you make the trek to the store. I didn't have a car, so I would mm -hmm. trek to the store and come back with, you know, like a five pound bag of rice or a 20 pound bag of rice, or like a bottle of orange, I mean, like a bag of groceries. You'd want it to last a while because you're schlepping up the stairs and everything. So I ate. I ate a lot of rice. Learned how to make a lot of rice dishes and like eggs in there and like. And that's what you associate with. Sometimes I think about a song and I think about what I was eating, what I used to exist on when I wrote that way. What were you yeah. existing on when you wrote the Pretender? You're rich when I was writing then. The Pretender, I, 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 mm. I was already eating in restaurants all the time. You <laughs> I was already very, rich. And I got, to, I got to write part of that song, The Pretender, in, in Hawaii. Mm. I got to write some of it in my old neighborhood where I was, where I was raised and where I was going back to live. You know, I, I'd gone back to live mm -hmm. when my first son was born. And, uh, that was your commentary on that? It was about, yeah, it was, it was me, it was about, like that whole, like, where the veterans fast asleep at the traffic light, all this, it was my old na neighborhood I grew up in, and the, ch the children waiting for the ice cream vendor, you know, that mm -hmm. was me and my brother sitting on the curb with our nickels waiting for the, <laughs> waiting for the truck to get close enough to, like, buy a popsicle. That stuff, um, you know the pictures that you that you that you remember the things that you, that mean something and that you are able to like, but if somebody else hears that song, they may not see that same ice cream truck that I see. They can see their own ice cream truck. Mm -hmm. That's the magic of songs. About half of what they're hearing is really from their own. I mean, what they see, they're really it's from their own life, mm -hmm. and that's, you know, that's that's the only thing that gives me the, the. This, you know, the, the comfort of knowing that, like, I'm not, there's a connector that's being talked about. We all have some common experiences. Otherwise, you would be serializing your own experience and, and somehow, like, selling people the images from your own life. But it's really that we all have. You ever wonder how, I mean, we, if anybody's had children knows that amongst us, a circle of friends, there, there are certain archetypical characters, you know, mm -hmm. and that all human society has this. They've got the Joker and they've got the, you know, 
the, the worrier, you know, the kid that is like, you know, uh, you know, unbelievably funny and everybody loves, you know, and then the one that's like, you know, you know, fraught with all kinds of human frailty, like he's going to, the, the, the greedy ones and the, and the aggressive ones are the ones that are like, you know, incredibly giving, you know. And that, that all these, these your, the, pe the people that you grow up with are very like the people that other people grew up, you know. Mm -hmm. And that the human experience is very, is sort of replicated again and again and again. Beautiful. Okay. Thanks, Jackson. We could go on and on, but I'm going to end this video here. Thanks. Cool.